And good evening everyone on the heels of a school shooting in Texas that left 21 people dead, 19 of them children. Slinger Middle School went on lockdown today. It happened after a student ran through the halls saying, quote, I have a gun. Here is what we know. Police did not find a gun in the building and they are now describing this incident as a hoax. That student has been arrested. No injuries reported. We do have team coverage. Our Stephanie Haynes joins us with the consequences for students making gun jokes. And Katie Crowther talked to emotional parents still reeling from the school massacre in Texas. And we begin with Katie. First responders made this parking lot outside the Kettle Moraine Bowl a staging area for parents. It's just a few blocks from Slinger Middle School. And hundreds of parents showed up here just panic, panic mode. I need to find what's going on. Some were in tears, others nervously on the phone. Just terror, you know, just wanting to see him. All parents knew was that there was a threat and Slinger schools were on lockdown. I only found out um, through a mom's Slinger mom's group on Facebook. Um, there was two or three posts that were saying like what's going on at the Slinger Middle School, 30 squad cars with guns and and then I immediately texted my son with him not answering. I thought maybe he was in like like a severe lockdown where, you know. She couldn't finish that sentence. No mother could. Many just had conversations with their kids about safety at school. He told me, he's like, Slinger, I'm safe in Slinger. I'm safe. I have nothing to worry about. I literally just had a conversation yesterday with my child. You don't want to tell them something to scare them, but you also want to be informative. This week especially, they know how lucky they are that what happened here was a false alarm. They will soon hug their kids. His whole family's on the way to the house now. His aunts are there, and we're going to hug him pretty hard. But the fear they felt was very real and the serious response from school leaders and first responders was appreciated. Today just reassured me on that, that yeah. when it happens, if it happens, that they're there and they're gonna act fast. A sad reality for parents, first responders, students and teachers right now. In Slinger, Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News. Said Katie, and now we're gonna bring in Stephanie Haynes with what consequences this suspect might face for that hoax, Stephanie. Slinger Police Chief Dean Schmidt did not hold back, expressing his frustration on what he says was all a hoax here at the middle school. And he says there will probably be some consequences. Dozens of anxious parents huddled around Chief Schmidt for updates following a lockdown at Slinger Middle School Friday afternoon. Our dispatch center got a call from the Slinger Middle School that there was a student who made a comment that he had a gun in the school and was going into the school, into a stairwell. But Chief says there was no gun. Dozens of law enforcement swept the campus for hours just to make sure. The student admitted that it was a hoax and he said it because he thought it was funny. Upon hearing this, parents immediately reacted and expressed their outrage. It's not funny. There's nothing funny about this. It's disgusting. It's sad. It's tragic. You see a lot of concerned parents around here, especially what happened in Texas. I mean, what's going through your mind? Um, Honestly, I'm irritated <laughs> with it because it's a foolish statement to make based on what has been going on in the last week and a half. And we will be looking at whether or not uh, we can file some charges. According to the Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction, a student who makes a false threat could face suspension or expulsion. The FBI says hoax threats can be prosecuted as a federal crime. And in Wisconsin, charges can range, including making terrorist threats, which is a felony that can carry a $10,000 fine and three and a half years in prison. I don't want this to be something that is going to be a black eye on our school district. And I don't want people to think that they may not want to send their kids here. It's a safe school. The student suspect is in custody. We do not know the student's age or grade level, and Chief says he has not yet spoken with the student. In Slinger, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News.